Okay, so this is a very interesting find. All right, let's see it. And the fit today is Lobo. About a mile or two from Noah's Ark, there are the ancient ruins of what they know to be Noah's ancient home. And the reason they know this is because there's a marker outside of these ruins. It's a giant stone with an inscription of a, um, a rainbow. Underneath the rainbow is a ship with animals coming off of it. And then there are eight carved crosses representing eight people that came off of the ark. And this was taken from a site that was a dug up grave at those ancient ruins of Noah's home. So not a single word of this is accurate. To begin, this skeleton has been in the Penn Museum for almost a hundred years. It was recently rediscovered after being misplaced, and it came from the excavations of Sir Leonard Woolley in the ancient city of Ur near modern-day Nasiriya. And this red marker here shows where that is located. Now, this burial was discovered in a part of the area that was subject to a pretty severe flood at some point in the ancient past. And so scientists nicknamed this skeleton Noah. And so obviously somebody saw that story and either misunderstood or decided to just make up the notion that this was thought to be Noah's skeleton. Now this was not discovered anywhere near any claimed candidate for Noah's Ark, but there are no plausible such candidates. All of the data indicate that the story of Noah and the Great Flood were originally literary creations. But the Durupinar site, which is where Wyatt claimed to have discovered the Ark in the 1970s, is near a location where some stone megaliths were discovered that had crosses carved into them but they were Byzantine or they were Crusader crosses. None of them date to within two or 3,000 years of when Noah was supposed to have been alive. The other claim that there was this inscription that shows a rainbow uh, and all this other stuff is also entirely made up, but that comes from an entirely different site over here in Armenia. And this site is called Zorats Karer. Some people call it the Armenian Stonehenge because it has a number of megaliths that are set up. And the claim that this inscription came from this site is not supported by any data whatsoever. This is just a drawing that somebody who claims to have brought a professional photographer with them made of what they claimed was an inscription they found on a stone. But no archaeologists, no epigraphers, no philologists, Nobody of any kind whatsoever has ever documented any such inscription at this site. So literally every single thing in this video is 100% made up. None of it is accurate. 